Alright, so earlier I made the big switch from Manjaro Linux over to Anturgos, and today we're going to be discussing that right now on Linux Lounge. <clears throat> So yes, indeed, as I just said, I made the big switch from Manjaro to Anturgos. Yes, I keep Manjaro running on my main PC. This, however, is on my laptop, which I use all the rest of the time, pretty much. Now, the first thing I want to say is I managed to get all of my software and hardware working perfectly, which you would expect from a uh, you know, sort of Arch-based distribution. Everything does tend to work quite well. Um, like I say, you know, your Audacity, your Firefox, your Discord, your Spotify, all that sort of thing it works absolutely fine. The second thing I would like to say, the major problem I had here, the installer, I um, can't pronounce it, I believe it's Kinchu, Kinchu, something like that, um, it was a bit buggy and it you know, crashed, it was unstable. I actually had to reboot the system three times and try installation again and again just to get it to work. It is cool because it will allow you to uh, select software you want to be installed before you actually install. So, like, you know, obviously that's how I got my um, Firefox and my Play on Linux and all that lot, and my Steam, of course. Um, but, like I say, highly unstable and couldn't get it to work. However, the three times I did try it, it failed before it wiped my hard drive, so I could boot back into my previous install of Elementary, and it worked absolutely fine. Um, but it was kind of annoying. However, after I got it to install, I was pleasantly surprised. By default, um, the installation comes with Chromium and that. Like I say, in the initial installer, gave me the option to remove that and select Firefox instead. It's a good feature, so I could start browsing right out of the box. Another thing I would like to say for the experience is very, very smooth. I don't know how it's coming through on OBS, but this is probably one of the smoothest, fastest GNOME experiences I've ever had. Uh, far faster than Manjaro GNOME in my experience. Now this isn't a particularly high MPC using Intel Integrated Graphics and that. However, it does run very well, which is more than what can be said for a lot of uh, GNOME distributions. How light it is, not too bad. Um, also, I don't believe this is anything to do with it. anything Anturgos has done. More so that the GNOME installation is relatively stock and standard, unlike Manjaro, which pile things on. Which may be more to your taste, I don't know. This isn't speed that's unobtainable with Majaro, as far as I can tell. Um, the next thing to say would be all the built-in software is quite good as well. It's all standard no maps. Um, you get stuff like Bracero and that as well. As I said previously, during the install, you get options for all kinds of programs. That's how I installed my LibreOffice and uh, my Steam and some other odds and ends, like Bluetooth support and that. Um, but yeah, sure enough, it works, and interestingly, the uh, Steam installer option will also install the native and the runtime libraries, so if the runtime does not work for you, use the native one, which is a problem with a lot of Arch systems in Steam. Now, most of the default apps are GNOME apps, so I don't feel either way for that. I've tried the weather app, and it's quite good. I've tried the text editor, and it's not quite my sort of thing. I would rather use some, like, say, mouse pad, but... Fair enough. The GNOME terminal is quite nice. Um, GNOME Tweak is a surprisingly powerful-ish editor for your system, which is pretty good. I've not tried the GNOME videos or music. I just tend to use VLC for both of those things. Um, and the GNOME system on it is quite good because I've been using that as well. Of course, um, another thing you might want to know, you know, sort of Manjaro versus Anturgos, this seems to get far more updates than uh, Manjaro, presumably because Manjaro hold things back for stability reasons. Hell, I actually just finished updating the system and I got another update yesterday, which was when I installed this. Once again, whether or not that's a stability problem, I don't know, uh, or would be an issue to your stability rather. I've not had any issues yet, but I've not had this system running for particularly long, so long-term stability, I don't know. Uh, I know Manjaro is quite good for that. This, however, I would imagine it probably would be, but you never really know. Um, I've not tried any of the community editions or anything like that, I know those are there, I'll have to have a look at those at some point. And uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say really, it's kind of my first impressions on Anturgos having just installed it. First impressions I would say, it's 
pretty damn good actually. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.